Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's our third example of how to do integration using the method of substitution. And here's something that when you first look at it, you go, wow, how do you integrate that? Well, here's the trick. First of all, when you have a radical like this, let's get rid of the radical and write it like this. This is equal to the integral of 3y squared times the quantity y cubed minus 1 to the 1 half power dy. Now, if you have a little bit of insight, after you do this for a while, and you see what's inside the parentheses, parentheses here, and it's raised to the 1 half power. If you take the derivative of what's inside the parentheses, you get 3y squared. And notice there's a 3y squared here, and you have a dy there. So this is really the differential of what's inside the parentheses. Since you're probably not quite that comfortable yet with that, you say, OK, that may be true, but let's use the method of substitution. And when we do that, you'll find out that the 3y squared dy will disappear, and you can then easily integrate what's left. And so that's how I illustrate why this is the proper differential of what you need here. So we're going to use a substitution. Let u equal what's inside the parentheses, which is y cubed minus 1. And then the derivative of that with respect to x. Oh, not with respect to x, because I'm using the variable y here. OK, that works. It doesn't matter x, y, z. In this case, it's a y. So du dy is equal to 3y squared. Multiplying the dy over here, we get du is equal to 3y squared dy. And finally, we can say that dy is equal to du divided by 3y squared. And we're going to substitute this and this back in the integral and see what we get. So this is equal to the integral of 3y squared times, instead of writing y cubed minus 1, we'll write u to the 1 half power. And instead of dy, we'll write du divided by 3y squared. And just as I predicted, the 3y squared in the numerator will cancel out with the 3y squared in the denominator, disappears. And then we're simply left with the integral of u to the 1 half power du. All right? So sometimes, without going through these, these steps here, you can look at this and go, ah, the derivative of y cubed minus 1 is 3y squared. And then the differential is dy. So since I have a 3y squared dy, I can simply integrate what's there. But again, if that doesn't feel comfortable or you say, oh, I don't quite understand that, it's perfectly OK to go ahead through these steps and simply use the method of substitution. And then you end up with something like this, which is really easy to integrate. So this is equal to uh, u to the 1 half plus 1, which is 3 halves power, right? 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, divided by the new exponent, 3 halves, plus a constant of integration. Of course, divided by 3 halves, the same as multiplying times 2 thirds. So this is equal to 2 thirds times u to the 3 halves plus a constant of integration. And then all we have to do at this point is simply substitute back in what u is equal to in terms of y. And so this can be written as 2 thirds the quantity y cubed minus 1 to the 3 halves power plus a constant of integration. And that is the integral of what we started with over here. So you can see, using method substitution makes this a whole lot easier.